my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make this adorable pineapple floral arrangement. It's so easy to make and it's perfect for a summer party, a luau, or a backyard barbecue, or even a cute hostess gift. If somebody's hosting a party like that, you can bring this as a nice little hostess gift for them. It's so easy to make, it's not intimidating at all. I'm gonna walk you through step by step today in this video. And at the end, you'll be able to make the cutest little pineapple floral arrangement. To make your pineapple floral arrangement, you'll need a few things. A pineapple, a pair of kitchen shears or scissors, a pineapple core, and an assortment of flowers. You can choose your own stems or pick up a bouquet at the grocery store like I did. You will also need a glass to go inside your pineapple. Choose a few options and test them against the diameter of the pineapple core. Make sure the glass is smaller than the core so it will fit inside the pineapple after you cut it. We're gonna go with this one. The first thing you will need to do is measure the glass against your pineapple to cut an opening. This glass is kind of long, so I will only need to cut off just the top. So you take a large kitchen knife and cut off the top. I would do this over a cutting board because pineapples are juicy and you should be left with a nice flat top for your core. Next, take your pineapple core and place it in the center of your pineapple. Press down firmly and start to twist. I start with my pineapple on the side and then move it upright to get more leverage. I also have really short arms, so it's really hard for me to reach and twist at the beginning, but then I, after it moves down the pineapple a little bit, I can flip it and have a better leverage point. Again, do this over a cutting board because pineapples are really juicy. The great thing about this is you'll have fresh pineapple after you're done. So you can eat it as a snack all week, even though your outside of your pineapple has become an arrangement. Once you have a hollowed out pineapple, you'll still have the core inside. Carefully take that same kitchen knife and cut it out. Then you can just discard the core. of an awkward angle to get the core out so you may have to do this a few times to get a nice flat bottom for your glass. Once your pineapple is hollow you will need to test your glass again. You can see mine is too tall so I need to go with a shorter option. This one fits perfectly because it's not rounded it's kind of flat on all sides and it fits perfectly inside the pineapple. So the next thing you need to do is prepare your flowers. Definitely don't skip this step. Remove the leaves and buds anywhere below where the water line in your glass will be. This is gonna be really short, so um, you'll need to remove a lot. You need to continue to do this for all stems, and you wanna remove these to prevent the bacteria growing in your water. That's why it's an important step, and you don't wanna skip it. It takes a while, but I promise it's worth it. Now that you've removed all the leaves and stems, um, you'll need to cut your stems. So cut them at a 45 degree angle and remember to be conservative on your first cut. You can always cut more if your stems are too long for your arrangement, but you can't make them grow. Now 
Now comes the fun part. You get to assemble your arrangement. Start by making an L with your pointer finger and your thumb. Place your flowers in the pattern that you want and twist the bouquet in your hand to get the full picture. I like to add three flowers at a time and then twist the bouquet. This way the whole bouquet is full all the way around. Next, put your cup with the water in the pineapple. If your bouquet came with food, go ahead and pour that in there. Um, if not, I'll leave a recipe for flower food in the description. Before arranging, take another look at your stems and cut any that are too long and then put it in the pineapple. Some are gonna fall out because this is a really small opening but you have time to fix your arrangement any way you want. If any fall out or you don't love their placement, you can just redo, which is what I'm doing here. It's one thing when it's in your hand and you can see it, but inside the pineapple, it might look a little bit different because in your hand, you're kind of holding it exactly where you want, but it fluffs out a little inside the pineapple. So use this time to get it exactly how you want it. Now take a minute and admire your work. So there we have it. You did such a great job. If you have any questions, be sure to leave a comment below. I'll be happy to answer them. Um, if you like this video, be sure to click subscribe. We've gone through kind of a rebrand at Hill on Heels, and so now we're focused more on party planning, home decor, entertaining, that kind of thing. Um, I used to be a certified event planner, so it's something that I'm really passionate about to help people host the perfect party. So I'm really excited about the new direction that Hill on Heels is taking. So if you like this video, click subscribe. I will be sharing all kinds of things for you to host the perfect party, and I'll see you next time. Thanks, guys.